Welcome to Everyone's a Millionaire podcast. Any parting words to the audience? Just start. It goes so much faster. You can't control. Like I, I tell people, you know, my 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 best advice is if you're going to start in rentals where most people start, you have to commit to getting to ten doors. Ten doors gets you that little bit of economies of scale um, because it's very hard to cash flow with one with rental property. Yeah, yeah. It's just a hot water heater goes out, a roof, and and honestly. That's that's the world testing you. I guarantee you the first mm-hmm. property you buy, something's going to happen. Something's going to happen. <laughs> that's the world testing you. I got one of my other high school buddies into buying rentals, and I think he's up to 30 now. Nice. Uh, we, 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 fixed, we fixed up a house. We honestly would have kept it for ourselves, but he, he was trying to get in. I was like, well, as long as you're cool with me making a little profit, like I'll sell you this rental. Um, and he was like, yeah, done. I have to commit. I'm doing it. And- we close on the house within the first two weeks of ownership. A tree fell and smashed half the house. Oh, and I mean, it's just like you can't make it up. Right. Luckily, obviously, of course, you have insurance and he was made whole. But again, like that was a, now a four month process of getting a tenant in. And and he was just like, Are you kidding me? I go, dude, this is how it works, man. Like we had a massive water, like a flat roof leak in one of our first properties. And we were like, I don't know why anybody ever gets into real estate. Um, so yeah, you got to commit to 10, 10 is the economies of scale number. And that will allow you to cash flow when the inevitable, you know, nonsense happens. Um, but no, I, I appreciate it, Dave. This, this is great. I, I hope people uh, take these nuggets because it's good stuff. I appreciate you, brother. Thank you, Dan. Thank you.